Hi. Today, I want to talk to you about the intersection of storytelling, technology, and race over time. This is a complex and interesting topic, in addition to being a concept that is constantly evolving. As with most things, it is important to understand the history of a subject to have enough context to see its future. Storytelling for African Americans began as a generational process of sharing narratives of our history orally. Parents and grandparents sharing stories about their experiences and creating context for how their children and grandchildren would fit into society. This approach to storytelling was initially the only way for African Americans to add their perspective to the greater historical canon. Over time, technology helped to scale this process and increase the audience for these stories. The first example of this was the printing press. With the invention of this technology, first-person narratives by former slaves, including Frederick Douglass and Olodau Iquano, were given the ability to reach larger audiences. This new medium also created empathy for the African-American experience on a larger scale than sharing oral histories. Following this, the inventions of radio and television created more opportunities for people of color to share their narratives with a larger audience than the printing press. The radio show Destination Freedom in the late 1940s is one of the first examples of a radio show that shared stories about the African American experience. By sharing the biographies of people like Harriet Tubman, Langston Hughes, Jackie Robinson, and Louis Armstrong, Destination Freedom demonstrated the range of black excellence during an oppressive time of American history. These narratives have also been historically shared on TV shows like Roots, The Cosby Show, Chappelle Show, and more recently, Insecure and Atlanta. Collectively, these shows share the diversity of the black experience in America. As the technology of storytelling improved, storytellers also expanded on the narratives of blackness. All of these shows expanded on the destination freedom approach by sharing stories from multiple perspectives to demonstrate how blackness is contextualized, celebrated, appropriated, and oppressed in our country. While destination freedom focused on stories about minorities achieving success in different fields, the more recent TV shows focused on presenting the diversity of black experiences. By the early 2000s, social media became the preferred choice for storytellers to share their narratives. This new medium empowered all people to share their experiences through written word, images, and video. Examples of social media influencers who use their popularity to champion causes within the African American community include actors Jesse Williams and Yahara Shahidi, athletes Serena Williams and LeBron James, and musicians No Name and John Legend, just to name a few. The commonality of all these examples is that storytelling shaped the greater narrative of our history. In fact, effective storytelling is the gateway to the canon of our collective history. The other commonality is that although initially denied access, African Americans eventually gained the ability to create in all the previous mentioned mediums. All of these mediums empowered people of color to create myths and share the range of culture that defines the black experience in America. This progression brings us to the future of storytelling, which in my opinion will be within mixed reality. Mixed reality is a spectrum of technology that ranges from augmented reality, which is the interweaving of the digital and real world, to virtual reality, which is the process of being immersed within a digital world that has the capacity to feel like the real world. Similar to the earlier mediums, mixed reality is the capacity to generate empathy and allow users to truly step into another person's perspective through the power of presence. Also, the rate of technological advancement will quickly make it hard to discern mixed reality from actual reality. This lack of distinction will make mixed reality storytelling more powerful than previous forms of storytelling. 
Another major distinction about mixed reality is unlike the previous mentioned mediums, at this point, access to mixed reality is very, very limited. Similar to any great experience, a variety of perspectives are needed to see the entire picture. Unlike the textbooks that I used as a high school student, emerging technology can share the complete narrative of our country and currently the narratives of African Americans and other people of color who are very underrepresented in the mixed reality space. As an educator, I feel that it is imperative that we empower all minorities to be creators of mixed reality content starting in middle school. An important part of being an educator involves empowering students and helping them to find their voice. This process is especially important because our society is predisposed to either silencing or ignoring the voices of minorities. As a result, I feel that education is the key to creating access to mixed reality for all people. Although the prices for hardware and software for mixed reality creation have come down dramatically, these tools are still not being utilized by over 80% of schools in the United States. Applying storytelling to the creation of mixed reality content will help students define roles as part of the creative class and the future work economy. As a futurist, I feel that embedding these skills within all underrepresented communities will prevent the rise of concepts like digital blackface and the whitewashing of history. Finally, the creation of diverse stories within mixed reality will ensure that the narratives and worldviews of all people are included in the historical canon of our society. In looking at the progression of storytelling, it becomes obvious that it is extremely important that stories from all people must be included in the canon of our collective history. As the newest and most dynamic storytelling tool, mixed reality will continue this tradition of sharing context and perspective in, about our world in a very dynamic way. As a result, it is vital that this technology is accessible to all people to continue this progression of storytelling and technology and continue to lay the groundwork for acceptance and inclusion within future generations. Thank you for listening.